this is Bob Mason from FX Empire and welcome to the daily crypto tech review of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Ripple's XRP. We'll be looking at the MACDs, the moving averages and the day support resistance and pivot levels. It is Sunday the 11th of October. Jumping straight into Bitcoin against the US dollar and the hourly candlesticks. It's a relatively bullish start to the day for Bitcoin. We need to see Bitcoin avoid a fallback through the pivot at 11295 to support a run at the first major resistance level, seeing at 11,518. We need support from the broader market for Bitcoin to break out and through to 11,500 levels, which is a key resistance level for Bitcoin. So buying an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level to pin Bitcoin back. In the event of a breakout, should see Bitcoin test resistance at 11,700 and the second major resistance level, seeing at 11,729 before any pullback. A fall through the pivot level would bring the first major support level seeing 11.084 into play. Barring an extended sell-off on the day, Bitcoin should steer clear of sub-11,000 levels. Second major support level sits at 10.861. Looking at the MACD, we're seeing a slight narrowing of the bearish histograms after yesterday's bearish cross, but nothing to suggest a pullback through the day. We're also seeing a possible beginnings of a bullish formation so need to keep an eye on that on the emas we're seeing the 50 hold its ground on the 100 and the 200 supportive of the early upside so key through the early part of the day avoid sub 11,300s, break out from the morning's high and through to 11,500 levels to support a bullish day ahead moving across ethereum against the us dollar also a relatively positive start today going to see Ethereum avoid a fall through the pivot at 372.19 to support a run at the first major resistance level that sits at 379.37. Going to see broad based crypto rally for Ethereum to break back through to 380 levels and yesterday's high that was at 380.81. So expect plenty of resistance at 380. In the event of an extended rally on the day, got the second major resistance level sitting at 387.98 to pin Ethereum back. A fallback through the pivot level would bring the 38.2% FIB at 367 and the first major support level sitting at 363.58 into play. Barring an extended sell-off on the day, Ethereum should stick clear of sub 360s. Second major support level sits at 356.4. Looking at the MACDs, we're seeing a slight narrowing of the bearish histograms, but nothing conclusive after yesterday's bearish cross to suggest any upside on the day. Looking at the EMAs, we're seeing the 50 widen marginally against the 100 and the 200 supportive of this early morning move north. So key through the early part of the day would be to avoid a fall route back through the pivot and to steer well clear of that 38.2% fib to support a run at 380s. Moving across to Litecoin against the US dollar positive start to the day going to need to see litecoin avoid a fallback through the pivot at 49.06 to support a run at the first major resistance level seeing at 50.32 support from the broader market for litecoin to break back through to 50 levels however so barring an extended rally on the day expect the first major resistance level at 50.32 and yesterday's high at 50.48 to cap any upside in the event of a breakout should see Litecoin test resistance at the second major resistance level at 51.73. A fallback through the pivot would bring the first major support level sitting at 47.65 into play. Buying an extended sell off on the day, Litecoin should stick clear of the second major support level at 46.39. Looking at the MACDs, we've seen a narrowing of the bearish histograms, supportive of the early morning move northwards but nothing conclusive to support another breakout day. On the EMAs, seeing the 50 wide marginally against the 100 and the 200, supportive of the early move north. So key through the early part of the day, avoid a fall back through the pivot and break out through to 50 levels to support a run at the resistance levels on the day. Moving across to Ripple's XRP against the US dollar, relatively positive start to the day. Going to need to see Ripple's XRP move through the pivot at 0.2559 to bring the first major resistance level at 0.2586 into play. 
Going to need to broad based crypto rally for Ripple's XRP to break out from that first major resistance level and target 0.26 levels and yesterday's high that was at 0.26044. So buying extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level and resistance at 0.26 to limit any upside. In the event of breakout, got the second major resistance level sitting at 0.2632 that would likely come into play. Failure to move through the pivot would bring the first major support level sitting at 0.2513 into play. Buying an extended sell off on the day should see Ripple's XRP avoid sub 0.25s. Second major support level sits on 0.2485. Looking at the MACD, similar trend here, seeing a slight narrowing of the bearish histograms, supportive of the early morning move northwards. On the EMAs, seeing the 50 hold its ground against the 100 and the 200. So, key through the early part of the day would be to move through that pivot level to then bring resistance levels into play. Failure to do that, we're going to see Ripple's XRP struggle. So keep an eye on the MACDs and the 50 EMA to provide direction on the day.